Hi guys, the explorers here. My name is Victor. And my name is Simon. I'm the chief explorer. And the videographer. Yeah. On this very day in Cote d'Ivoire, we decided to go to the Lakwe or let's say Miami of Cote d'Ivoire. It's called Asini. Yeah, Asini. Yeah. So we we'll book a bus. How much did the bus cost us? I think around six hundred thousand. No, no, eighty thousand so far. <laughs> <laughs> this one, this was, it cost us about 8,000 so far. I think they go and go down. No, no, no. It was 80,000 so far for the whole day, for booking the bus for the whole day. Yeah. Yeah, so ongoing, we decided to shop for some groceries, some munch on. I think the journey was quite longer than two hours. It was about three hours. Yes, because the man said two hours. We spent about three hours, yeah. One thing about school is the road is very good. Yeah, the road is good. There was no traffic and there yeah, are traffic in within the city, but the road to Asini, particularly, there was no traffic. And the road to Asini, like the lush green forest by the side of the road, was really a sight of build. Just, just quiet here. Asini is mostly inhabited by the rich people. You understand the rich and influential people of um. Cote d'Ivoire, yeah. Unlike Miami, there are no beaches at the beaches, and <laughs> it's very quiet. yeah, no fast cars. It's a very quiet place, all in all. No clubs, yeah. It's just like the best family, yeah. But yeah, it's just like most mostly what they call this Jesus. Remind me, resort, resorts, yeah. Just basically, basically resorts, and then fishermen, the locals, the locals around there are fishermen, yeah. Basically, the ocean is not here, this is just a lake. The lake separates. Yes, the ocean. yeah, the ocean, yeah. You know the Indian Ocean? No, no, this is the Atlantic. The Atlantic Ocean. This is a lake, and we have to cross through the lake to get to the beach. Yeah. And it's close to Ghana. Yeah, exactly. This place shares border with Ghana. This Asini, Asini particularly shares border with Ghana. Yeah, you can see the settlements of the fishermen. These are the settlements of local fishermen. Yeah, and that's the beach. And this particular day, we had a reservation. We were supposed to stay at a place, but we couldn't figure it out and time was going. And we had a match to cash up with later that day, so we didn't stay. Apologies for that. But you can see there are a lot of um beautiful resorts here and they are affordable. Mostly within the range of about one fifty dollars to two hundred dollars per day for a three bedroom resort. How much is that in Sefa? In Sefa, it was about um, it was less than one eight thousand Sefa. Yeah, it was about I paid about one fifty thousand Sefa for the room, but unfortunately we couldn't make it, and I was refunded. Yeah, so yeah. this is our first stop. We decided to eat, but the food was too expensive compared to. Um, we couldn't even buy a yeah, bottle of water here, not because we couldn't afford it, but because it was just too expensive. Yes, it was, was unreasonably expensive. The bottle of water cost about 200 sefa outside, and here it was about 4,000 sefa for a yeah. bottle of water. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Exactly, like, are we in London? And how much, let's put it in perspective, um, how much is that in dollars? 4,000 sefa. Yeah, don't worry, we'll put it on the screen. So this is us here trying to fill our hungry bellies. This is quite windy. Yeah, it's quite windy. Yeah, it is. It is windy. We took some pictures. Pretty simple. Follow us on Instagram so you can see the pictures. Yeah, right. Appeals of an explorer. So we are at Asini Beach now and we are about to cross this lagoon to get to the real beach. It cost 2,000 per person. Did you have to pay for the babies? Too? No, no, no. Okay, so it's free for the babies. 2,000 per adult to cross the beach. Wait, this is going left. Oh my god, why did it I'm not saying you guys. 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 I'm not saying
stand up now. Uh, Jesus, oh my God. I'm cool, I'm cool. You thought you were a good friend day for you. You thought you were a good friend day for you. You thought you were a good day for you. You thought you were a day for you. You don't go shake out. I'm cool, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm I think the only thing we didn't do right, we didn't bring our own food. Yeah, we should have, yeah. Honestly, yeah. If you are coming to this place, don't make the mistake we made. Come with your food, come with your drinks, you understand? And go early, you understand? You can be yeah, in Abidjan, leave Abidjan, let's say 6 in the morning, so you get there around um, 9. Then you spend the whole day there, you get. That's if you are not staying in a resort. And if you are staying in a resort, also try to bring some essentials, you get, because food here is very expensive. So there were very few activities to do here, but we were able to quad bike. Imagine a festive season. Yeah, I mean, we were around. But apart from a festive season, we went on a Monday. That's why everywhere was, yeah, it was very scanty. We went on a Monday. Time was going, so we decided to like leave and go prepare for our match. Which country was playing that day? Yeah, it was, um, it was Angola we were playing. The city was very busy this day, like very busy. And most everybody was interested in the Fiji Blue Boy, yeah, you know, Nigeria. <laughs> I'm too up Nigeria. <laughs> and what I really understood was the fences. They didn't just allow us to go straight. Why I think it was security and and we have to pass through a different checkpoint. I really love their stadium. Yeah. Nigerians are actually very happy people. You can see the excitement in the air. This was a very good day for us. And the beach, the match, the winnings, the braggings. You see, they are very spiteful people. You see, students <laughs> abusing and black. All in all, it was beautiful day and in case you want to go to Alassane, I really recommend just try to go with your own food. I think you have to come up with an itinerary for them. Yes, I'm going to do a code of what itinerary based on what we did. Yeah. And recommendations and recommendations, places to go. I'm going to share the link below. Yeah. Where was the next place we went to? Yeah, literally that day I saw something on Instagram, Maori Kova, it was an airplane place, but we didn't go on the weekend, so... Where did you find the place? Instagram, yeah. I found it on Instagram, I, I, they had a party there, which was, so I was training on Instagram, so I recommended. And the place is very nice, their food is lively. Yeah, it's lively. It was a place to mingle during the, during the Afcon, yeah, it was a place to meet other people, you understand? The best place to meet other people, to mingle, is at the stadium. And basically at places like this, their food was really nice, even though some of us said otherwise. Because the food took time, I wouldn't lie. It's apart from the bad yeah, time. But yes, nothing, but the said wasn't really bad. It, the food just took time. You realized Bob didn't get his order. We 
I don't know. Maybe his boss wasn't loud enough. This was very busy. <laughs> I think one of these days you should do a food review. Yeah, we are going to do a food review. Apparently, your best food is this size. Um, a check here. And I brought some a check here down to Nigeria here. I have a lot in my fridge because my wife eats it a lot. If you want a check here, I have it, but you pay for it. And then I'll steal it from my wife's fridge. For you. Anything for you guys. Oh my god. I don't hear the doctor. Now, did you know? The food is nice. Like, you can see this from the video, the way I was downing it. This is not Jolof. This is Jolof. This is Seneca Jolof. Yeah, this is Seneca Jolof. I wouldn't lie. Seneca Jolof is, is tasty. <laughs> it's not this guy. I enjoyed this. Seneca Jolof is the same as Canada Jolof. Yeah, Canada Jolof is trash. You know me that said you took. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> <laughs>